Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and today we're going to be making a simple hydrogen generator using three pieces of stainless steel pipe. This one has some plastic on the bottom to seal it so it acts like a giant cup. These two are going to go inside. This one's going to have the electrical current. This one's going to act as the neutral plate. Now we're using stainless steel because it is a less reactive metal than like iron. Iron will actually oxidize and it'll make your solution very contaminated and you'll also start to deteriorate whatever you put in there. It'll destroy it. So most people use stainless steel. Platinum is a good choice too, but of course if these were platinum, well, I could probably retire off of it. So we're going to start by filling this chamber with regular tap water. Now our tap water has a lot of iron in it, so it is naturally pretty conductive all by itself. But what we're going to do is we're going to pour just regular water in there. We're going to fill it about halfway up. We are going to add our neutral plate. This one does not have a current, the outer one, if you can see from right there. These can't touch, by the way. That's not a good thing. So eventually you want to put, I'm going to put rubber spacers in here to make sure that they don't. But for right now, we can pretty much balance them so they don't bang together. Let's see, we'll put the nice side up. Put the nice side down. Hmm. There we go. They're all settled. Now what we're going to do, we have a 12 volt battery charger. We're doing this so we can see the, the amps that we're actually pulling. We're going to be attaching the negative terminal to the outside. This way, if this was your car, you'd always want the negative to be to the outside because your car battery is actually grounded to the chassis of your car. So if this should ever touch it, well, it's no different. If this were to touch it, you'd create a short. So we're going to see what we get. Right now we're pulling zero amps. I don't know if you can see up there. We're going to start filling this a little bit higher with water. I'm going to fill it right to the edge. And we're starting to get some very fine bubbles. Nothing too exciting though. This is on. We're good to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to add a little bit of salt. What the salt does is it makes it more conductive. So you'll see the amps that it pulls going up quite a bit. I'm going to add just a touch. I'm going to add the salt in there. It's about a tablespoon that I just put in. And then I'm going to mix it around with this. Get it nice and mixed up. We're going to drop this back in there. It will work without the neutral plate in there, but the neutral plate increases the surface area and makes it work a lot better. So it makes it more efficient. Right now this is running at three amps to create this, this many bubbles. Since this is 12 volt that we're running through there, three amps equates to 36 watts. So, so right now this is about the equivalent of two compact fluorescent bulbs, the energy that it's pulling. And if you can see, let's see how the gas... See, it's not very exciting. All right, so now what we're going to do, now we're going to hook this up to slightly higher voltage. Ooh, those got warm. If you hook one of these up to your car, you definitely want to add a uh, fuse to this. If you put too much salt, the more salt you put in, the more amps you pull. And, well, you can actually burn wiring up real easy. So we're going to go positive to the center. see what we get. I can actually put this down here. You can see the higher voltage. It's creating a lot more bubbles. So that's basically all there is to a hydrogen generator. We're creating hydrogen and we're separating the hydrogen and oxygen out of it. Now, what I'm going to do is see how these ignite. It's pretty impressive. That's a pretty loud bang. So we're going to go for that again and see what happens. That was fun. One more time. You notice I stand back. That's pretty cool. So that right there.
right there is pulling, uh, with this battery, about 4 amps. So 4 amps at 20 volts, which is about what this battery is, comes out to about an 80 watt bulb. These pull amps. The more salt you put in, the more amps are going to pull them. The more amps that your car pulls, the harder that your alternator works in your car. The energy that runs these doesn't just come from nowhere. You can add extra batteries to your car that you charge with the solar panel to run one of these. But then you run into the fact that you're adding extra weight to your car, so are you offsetting the uh, efficiency? That's a tough question. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be sealing this up, making it as efficient as I can possibly get it, as safe as I can possibly get it, and then I'm going to be running this into the air intake in our car, and I'm going to see how it affects our mileage. Supposedly it increases your mileage by 50 to 90 percent, which, um, well, that little explosion was pretty impressive, but I can't see that offsetting um, our fuel efficiency by that much, especially when you add to the fact that this is going to be running off of our alternators. One thing about this process that I actually find very interesting is the fact that it does this to the water. I don't know if you can see that, but this water has turned orange. The reason that it's turned orange is because the iron that was in our water has been pulled out of solution. So, I actually use this as a way to lessen the iron in our water because if you put this, put a little electrolysis before five micron filters, then the five micron filters are able to pick all of this up. So instead of adding chlorine bleach to do this same thing, you can use just a little bit of electricity and you can pull it out of solution. I know what I want to do. I'm going to hook this up to our charger here. And I'm going to gradually add salt and I'm going to see how the amps increase with this. So, right now we're not even at one amp with this. So I'm going to add some salt. We're at three, two and a half. It's a lot, ooh. But we've mixed it. We're all the way up to way above 10 amps now. So I don't want to leave this hooked to it because it'll destroy my battery charger. This is 12 volt, 10 amps. Now 12 volt, 10 amps is the equivalent of a 120 watt light bulb. So keep that in mind. This is consuming the equivalent of a 120 watt light bulb. see this this should be loud all right now in the comment section below I'd like you guys to write in I want your opinion on whether you think that a hydrogen generator can actually produce more combustible energy for your car than it drains off of your alternator now keep in mind that with the final amount of salt that we put in, we were pulling 10 amps. And 10 amps at 12 volt is 120 watts. 10 amps at 20 volts is almost 200 watts. So you see the power input for this. So you can imagine if you, you really wouldn't want to go over 10 amps with this because the wiring really starts to get hot on the lower voltage. And Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy our videos.